Hello and welcome to half Ass Marriage, a Thief 2 fan mission made for the 48 hour contest by Fire Mage. Again, probably going to be small, probably going to be relatively unpolished, but uh, let's read the briefing and dive right in. Today is Bessa's wedding. What a day. What a waste. I'm forced to attend since Bessa has repaired my lockpicks after a bad adventure in a mechanist silver storage. And because bad news never comes in small doses, Basso chose me as his best man. Now I'm forced to stand there, holding the rings until the end of the ceremony, among their family members and friends who I've never even seen before. But as much as I'd like to be doing what I want to do, Basso is a useful guy when I need his help. I just can't screw the event up. I just have to stay alone in a dark corner and wait for the beginning and end of the wedding, hoping no one comes to speak to me and makes the day worse than it will already be. Yeah, what a good way to waste your day. Basso has chosen you as his best man for the wedding. Keep his wedding ring until the ceremony. Be wise, do not ruin the event by striking anybody, arguing, or even stealing anything. Get into place and wait for the ceremony to start. I'm ready for the ceremony. It will start in a few hours. Garrett, you're the best man here. Please, this is my wedding. I know that you don't like such ceremonies, but please, 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 no thievery, violence, provocations, or anything else that could ruin my marriage with cops. Or something else. You didn't even bring any nice clothes, as all best men should. So, yeah, yeah, at least be yeah. good. As you wish, Basil. At least until the end. I do it because repel my log picks. Well, trust me, next time you get married, find another best man, okay? Yes, I know the best man here. What do you mean the ceremony's gonna start in a couple of hours? people around there. Damn, the rings. Basil would be furious. I must go to the sewers and find them before the wedding begins. What? Did it... did it drop? You lost the wedding ring! Find it quickly. I, I didn't see it drop, it just... Drunk priest? How do I get to the sewers? What happens if I don't walk down that side of the map? I mean, I guess I did, so I don't need to worry about what happens if I don't. Like, what if I came this way first? Alright, no problem. One of those strangers to walking through sewers. Good little stuff. A new present for our goddess. Mm. That guy is weird. I should follow him and fast before he escapes. What, he stole my rings? Who's here? Dude, I need that ring. <laughs> I don't even have a blackjack. Why has he got weirdly colored hands? I like purple and green. And blue. Yes, the lanterns! The flesh is not a color, and their ancestor made with blood. Long live to the rainbow's children. Rainbow's children. Yes. I guess that's why they. Paint themselves rainbow colors, or they eat things that turn them rainbow colors. I'm ready for a war that is them. Their world should be ours. Mm. Strange caves. Right, glowing caves. Rings and 
hear what he said. Let's make find the rings and get out of this place. What a strange world. Explore it to learn what it is and how to leave it. By the way, since you're not supposed to steal anything during a wedding, how about saving your day by looting a value of 1500? These inhabitants are surely dangerous. To avoid problems, do not kill their chieftain. Optional, you're unarmed. Try to find a sword and a blackjack to defend yourself. Optional, you don't know this place at all. Finding a map will surely help you. Well, yes, I wouldn't mind having a map. <sighs> what is this place? Well, they clearly don't much care for outsiders since they uh, stick them up on sharpened poles. Hmm. They do like their rainbow colors. And this strange shifting uh, textures on these mushrooms. Our world is nowhere and nothing. A place to prepare a war or to find safety. No end, no beginning. We live here waiting for our revenge. Curse the landers. Landers would be us. People from the land. Sort of people from the rainbows. I suppose. Carrots? I mean, not uh, unheard of, but unconventional in this city. I was in these zones, the Rainbow Zones. This place is terrific. I will never go back there. All strags used the magi of the stolen bolt, but it wasn't enough. Monsters, big. I just wanted to, key, to get the keys to reach the portal and leave this world to see the other. Only three warriors and the chief can leave, and they go there to get the keys. I'm not authorized to leave, so I tried to take it myself. Today, I regret. It was a real nightmare. I hope that nobody will know anything about this story. Now I understand. I will never, never return to these sectors. I don't understand, but uh, fair enough. Noise maker. And moss arrows, okay. Was there anything? Did I miss anything on the tables in this other room? I feel like maybe I did. No, oh, there were no tables in this other room. Okay. So what, do I, what am I going to do here? To... Must not be seen. These guys don't look friendly. Keys I'm gonna need there. Oh. 
You don't have one of them, do you? No. Somebody else is coming this way? She was saying that. Tools. Lots of healing, that's very good. You know, well, it'll be very, very good if I don't need any of it, but uh, pretty good that it's there. This world has no wood or iron. Everything has been imported from the real world. Even the swords and helmets. That's why I exist. All objects that could be useful are sent to me. And now, I alone among all the strags own such furniture and weapons. Someone who needs something for himself can find his happiness here. But I won't let anyone take my goods without my permission. That's why I must hide all the precious objects somewhere nobody will think to look. I must think about it. Hide them in the barracks night snout. Hide them behind the sofa. Behind the paintings. Okay, well, that will be a blackjack. It will do. Okay, nothing behind the paintings then. Hmm. Think that I found this empty book. Paper now, no more flesh. I must say that these landers are stupid, but they have some good things that we shouldn't miss. Their machines are amazing, their objects are beautiful. I saw a building named Cathedral, I never saw such great and colourful places. And that's bad, bad for me, bad for us, bad for them. In the real world, the war is done and forgotten by the landers. So I think that we will win, but I think that will be tragic. Their civilization is really more impressive than the precursors. They are wiser, depending on the life one had in the past. I think it would be a mistake to kill them all. We repeat each day that nobody will live free until only one of us exists. But I don't think so. Perhaps we can mix our people to be one. There are evil people among them, yes, but good ones too. I must find a solution and change my people's mind before they destroy these perfect things. Let's see, they're planning the war, are they? Scouting your orb, okay. God. Did I miss a broom on this side? I mean, I missed some stuff on one of the tables, I'm sure. No, there are only the two rooms. That doorway, okay. So we did hear somebody else talking about rainbow some things. Okay. I am ready. War is 
something good these times. May our goddess send more help. I am ready to war against them. Their world shall be ours. So what's going on with this? Is this deadly? Rainbow stairs. What? Oh. It's how you traverse. Okay. Unexpected. Let's look at this floor in the middle as well. Water or what? I don't know. Somebody does come in this room, so I should be a little bit careful. Let's see where they go. Observe. Oh, that quiet ground. Okay, that's good to know. It looks weird and spooky, though. didn't work out. Somehow I landed on the noisy part as usual. Stupid thief two garret can't jump. Well you'll calm down in a minute. We can watch the shiny pretty lights. And hang on, how come he's making grassy footsteps on that? Middle bit, and I was making noisy tile footsteps on it. That's weird. But do I want to go all the way over there and grab that? I mean, there was loot in the other one. There might be loot in this one. You know, his patrol room. I don't want to be half oh, stuck in the light when he comes in the room. He's going to be coming back any second now, I think. Or I could be wrong. It's happened once or twice. There he is. Now we wait.
Does the other one have a plaque in front of it? Rainbow smelt crushing mix. Your colors are brightness of the light. Faster than the wind. Powerful as your husband, Storm. Favor me with the gift of your best creature. Mate, eat the lander's flesh and brains. Dig the earth, shut all flames down. Rainbow Mother, I call your aid. It's time to live. Well, it's not time to live. I mean, leave. Uh, we sit down to Halley, but we need this little rainbow things. We need some loot. And a sword would be nice. A map would be lovely. Here it's coming back. Now, who's the one who walks really fast in the next room there? Making me nervous about going into that room. How come they get... How come it's noisy for me and not for them? Okay, now it's not noisy for me. That's... Some weird bullshit. Don't see me, don't see me. What is going on here? And there's the other room back there. I have the blue room I have to still go to. circles. Okay, I haven't been in there. I need... Hmm. That must be where they were having the, uh, the announcement, right? I feel like. And what's up with that? I don't know. Yeah, it annoys me that these are inconsistent in uh, footstep sounds. Are they just staring this way the whole time? No, they do turn. And be careful because they're probably slightly alerted as well. Just 
Open away again. Here we got a green room. Alright, I've been to the green room. Let me go out this door as well, so I better wait till we... So what is up with this? Do I know? Can I tell? Oh! It's a teleporter. It's rooms with those cursed light crystals. It does seem like there's nobody in the rooms at the moment. Day by day we learn more, thanks to our scouts. We are ready to fight, yes. After our banishment, the landers have betrayed each other to gain the control of their world. The fools have split into factions since they defeated us. Though they've grown in number, they've become selfish. They kill each other, and many of them are harmless, which gives us a better chance to take our revenge. And all have forgotten our existence. We must use their time of war. We must prepare our troops and summon the rainbow's creatures. The only way to create our monsters is to steal their ore and precious metals and to smelt it, to gain their power and mix it with the rainbow force in our temple. All strags are ready to defeat the landers. Long life to the strags. Let's destroy their futile civilization. Okay, but where are you guys hiding all your rainbow keys? I haven't seen a single one yet. There's like seven or eight of them or something. Ugh. Ugh. Terrific stairs, okay. You just cannot walk or even run up smoothly. Okay, here's one of them. Rainbow Zones Key. That's one. There were like... I think seven. Yeah, there's three across the top and two down each side. Are there more teleporters? There wasn't any other way out of here, was there? That no, was all of it. Okay, that's gonna get us in here. Oh, 
I'm trying to escape. It's hard to see here. It's like they've camouflaged against this floor. All right. Well, this place looks important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven doors. This is where we started, right? I think that's the passage I went down in the beginning. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it was this way. Well, that's a loot goal, cucumber. I wonder if this weirdly colored fruit is embedded in safe to eat. What is the Rainbow World? This is a good question. This is a place where we and our parents came through a portal, summoned by our mother Rainbow, to save our lives when the fire and earth elements attempted to destroy us. We're here now, centuries past, banned from the real world. But our strag lives well over 200 years, and we will never forget this endless war between the elements, because life is war. Our only wish is to take our revenge against the landers. Actually, we are not really banned, because we can leave this world through a portal in the south of our quarters. But such a thing is also dangerous, because we fear that the earth or the fire could detect us. Here, it's safe. We send only some scouts to spy on the landers, to know if someday we could leave our world forever and live in the real world. In order to leave our world, those volunteers ready to scout must ask for authorization from our chief. If the chief agrees, he may come with them to the Rainbow Zones to find the seven keys that will unlock the gate to the portal. The volunteer must be cautious, because the zones hide some creatures and traps which depend the keys. No mistakes are forgiven in this place. This portal will teleport the one who enters it to wherever they wish to go. The portal will create a rainbow in the sky to allow the traveller to return in the rainbow world if necessary. Return portals are often underground to avoid any intrusions. What was that objective? Right. Learn what it is and how to leave it. Got the loot goal. Got the wedding ring. We do not have our sword yet, we do not have a map. <laughs> Besser, you'll never believe where I've been. He didn't notice me as he brushed past. I wasn't at all sure if he would or not. It's probably quite possible that he might. Another healing potion. Alright, well I don't know where the sword is, I don't know where the map is. These are things I would like to know. Right, so I have been in this room. Wasn't sure if I had. So who has the map to this place then? Right, that was where I came in. So I've been in this room as well, right? Yes, we read that. Yeah. 
Maybe you have to hear that and get suspicious. Somebody else heard that one. Somebody upstairs heard that one, I'm sure. Oh, you've just got a sword. Wow, your face is... Very colourful. Alright, where's that healing potion? Oh, you know what? Let's try these carrots, right? Well, they don't seem to have hurt me. They don't have... Oh, they helped a little. Oh, those constant wind chime noises. Intensely annoying. How do these people live with it? This is just the entrance. Why are they hiding the map then? I feel like I've been over all of this except the rainbow zones and I would have expected to have found the sword and the map. Before now, you know what? Let's make it a little safer to run around in. He, would he, went, he wanted to hide the stuff where no one would find it, of course. I mean... I guess he succeeded in that sense. Listen, how did I get to the colourful rooms to begin with? I saw that way and I- oh, I went this way. Okay. Where's the guy who's running around here? Apparently makes a ton of noise and everybody hears it all the time. So knocking people out is not actually a helpful uh, thing to do. So we've been in here, right? Yes, yes, yes. We read the book. She now writes on paper instead of flesh. And this was the guy who wanted to hide this. Okay. all the precious objects somewhere nobody will think to look. I mean... Do you have a secret room in here, or what? Yes. So 
don't want to go that way yet. I want to reach for some stuff. So I want to. Everything here looks the same, so I guess this is this is near. Iris, welcome, Minishit. I heard that you came from the Hoaxical tribe. You've surely learned how to use a sword by now. By now, be welcome in the main strike stand. We will prepare you to fight against armies. Here, there are several old warriors who have already defeated some landers, and soon, when the hostility starts in the real world, you'll be one of them. For the moment you're not a soldier in our army, but your skills will increase after each day of training. Because you are new here, please accept this map with all our gratitude. You'll start your training tomorrow. Okay. So we have the zones with the Great Hall, way of the portal, which I have not explored yet. And I can't read this. Common room, temple, chieftain's quarters. Okay, so the temple was the big colourful rooms that we've been through. The common room was the one the guard was patrolling around, with the tables in the middle. And we've been in these rooms off the sides of the... That's where we came in, I guess. Strikes Great Dan. Alright then. Hmm. What is our world entrance? Okay, no, these are these quarters rooms I have not been in. Not a cucumber. Strags, all the rainbow's children. There was a time before when the world was black with rocks and an empty sky. No building, no humans, no civilizations. One day a strange rock fell from the sky, carrying magic particles which created life a million years ago. The old scriptures say that the land and the sky had been alive for two centuries. They decided to join each other and have created as children the clouds, the water, the fire, the wind, the rain and the vegetation. Though we don't know why, the two lovers became bitter enemies. Exhausted from fighting each other, they fell into a great sleep, but this was not true of their children. While their parents slept, the children sought to learn who was right in the war between sky and earth. By different alliances and unions, numerous elements were created. Many were destroyed, but some continued to live. Then time passed, and the war was slowly forgotten by living beings, and some elements started to make their own children. The most important creation, made by the dust and the mud, was the landers, clever creatures with the ability to think. When they were created, they were without any fur or shell, no clothes, no claws, no fangs. But they began to unify themselves for survival. They began to create some tools to defend themselves and to construct walls to prevent all others from trespassing in their territories. But in time, they became too well armed and dangerous because they created a civilization that they called Karathin, cutting down all the forests around them to gain even more territory, drying up rivers and streams, using all the water for their building, their fields, and a population that couldn't decrease because of their research to cure all natural diseases. The landers became too selfish, searching for ore and rare metals, and they lost their wisdom. And because their makers were earth children, and their creation blind and foolish, the war among the elements was reborn. The fire betrayed the earth, seeing how the landers honoured him. Noticing that, the dust and mud started to attack their creation. But each scourge was thwarted by the landers, who always found a way to survive and to live with their curse, even sometimes using it to gain more control. Then the sky's children found the solution. A storm cloud decided to mix his matter with a rainbow to create a new kind of being. Clever, but less evil. Created specially to destroy all threat, the first strags were born. Wearing armors and weapons charged with the electricity of the storm and the speed of the rainbow, they came to Karathin and attacked it. Many landers and strags died. Finally, the landers fled from their city. Karathin was occupied by the strags. But when the landers were ready to disappear forever, the evil fire succeeded in waking the earth and claimed that the sky's children were trying to destroy the earth's children. Trusting the fire, the earth joined forces with the fire to destroy the city and all the strags inside. They buried Karathin under the earth, flooding its streets with lava and killing the survivors with some elementals. 
Then the strikes became threatened, tracked and stalked by lions and the earthquakes. Our ancestors were naturally doomed. Fortunately, when the last village was about to be destroyed, the Rainbow Mother opened a portal to safeguard her children in a new world where nobody would destroy them. As for the Landers, they continued to construct their cities and destroy their environment. Many things happened in the world of the Landers, and the Strags continued to spy upon them. And maybe someday, when the Landers are in a bad crisis with the elements, our people will return to destroy them forever, and this time they will not fail. Well, that is the story they tell of, of who they are, and why they are here, and why they hate us all. Okay, so what is out here? What is this gate? I guess we don't get to go out there. However, now we have a map. Alright, I want to go through the temple again and I suppose check all these. Things. Maybe maybe one of those held a sword. So we've melted down. I don't know. But also maybe not. We do have plentiful moss. <laughs> also, it is an auto map, which is very nice. guy patrolling in here, right? Or did I knock him out already? No, I did not knock him out already. Let's do it. Luckily, I landed. So I guess this is an object here. So as to get the uh, texturing, and that's why the, the sound is sometimes <coughs> bad, because when you walk onto objects, sometimes it does not uh, properly update the... your feet are in contact with a different material thing. Which is why I was getting the... Uh, tile sounds here, right? Like this. Give a jump, and fixes it. And was there anyone in this room? Right, well I want to see if these ones, those ones had any, uh, blocks in front of them, right? That one doesn't seem to. This was the one with the ring. The other stairs were half of the rainbow, and this is the other half of the rainbow. Okay. 
And then this is the blue room. There's somebody there. That's that's the guy standing in the corner. We have so many more zeros. Should be pretty safe to wander around now. Um, where was the sword hidden? So that's the chieftain's quarters and the rainbow zone. We did search in here. He wouldn't have hidden the sword in the chieftain's quarters, right? Uh, as he stares, oh god. It's like they're grabbing your feet every step and grabbing you by the ankles and not letting you go. And that was the key to the rainbow zones. Rainbow Zones? What's Rainbow Zones? Hang on. Right, right, right. Quarters. One more look around the quarters. I know it's been almost an hour. This has actually been a surprisingly long mission. Uh, I still have the Rainbow Zones to do. Out here, right? Just a just a teleporter, I guess. The little strikes are unconscious, so um... where do you hide this stuff, and why does he not wake up? I just need a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must hide all the precious objects. Oh. Oh shit. Under the banner. I'm probing, I'm probing all this loot through the banner. I was throbbing in the seat but open, but I don't have a sword, so I can't cut it down. Who who has the sword then? I don't like throbbing things for banners, but uh, yeah, it's fair enough, but I'm sure if it had been a longer time to do this mission, it would not have been possible to do that, but sword, who's got a sword? This there was talking the about somebody having a sword to fight, or knowing how to use a sword to fight with. Um, in the quarters to the south and west. Was there a sword in one of these areas that I just missed? Change in ambience. <laughs> so, 
I'll just have to be, see. Hmm. I, mean, I don't need a sword. I can use a fire arrow to destroy that banner, I suppose. At least I feel like I'm not cheating by having, having uh, drops through it. You know what? Let's just do that. I think trying to find a sword is going to be an exercise in frustration, I think. Prob everything through it either. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the Bee Hall. Guess we can get, cut through the temple. Let's go to the Rainbow Zones. See what awaits us there. We have broadheads. We have a few more moss arrows left. And we shall see what awaits us. This shimmering effect is really quite annoying. Blue zone. Color of the frost when the sun is absent. Beware, whoever enters the blue spectrum will be frozen for eternity. Okay, frozen fraternity. What nonsense. You guys are just making that up to scare me. I suppose I could have avoided them as well, but you know, evaded them. Used used powers of stealth and not just cleaning. Or just the powers of running fast. Green zone, as the plants and the moths of the real world. The green spectrum may spy you in a hidden place. To not enter or to die is your only choice. Whoa, my eyes. The running tactic works. Let's try that. We have more spectra to deal with. Man, they have to go through this rigmarole every time they uh, every time they want to send a scout out. This is inefficient. Yellow zone, not the worst spectrum, but it's sighted and erring. No one will escape because shadows are forgotten here. What's wrong with your back, guys? Well, that was easy. OK. 
Okay, what color have we got now? Orange, red. Octarine. Oh, hello. Orange zone. Fear the orange spectrum. It looks harmless, but lengthy trouble in this domain costs many lives. Do not waste your time. Flee. Alright, we will not waste our time. We will... Oh, they're, they're coming up. Yep, they have a slight delay and then they start chasing. Alright. I think we can. I think we can beat these Spectra. Colors have no power against a thief of the darkness. Red zone, fire of the light. May your corpse burn if you attempt to breach the balance of the red spectrum. I see. That was pretty bad. I will not deny it. Right, uh, two more. Do you have any more cucumbers? I thought I picked one up somewhere. Yeah, cool. Purple zone, it will burn your flesh like the red, but in less time. Fury is the master here, because all will suffer in the wild purple spectrum. Right, I see. The floor is not solid, and I did not notice. I see. Okay, purple. Finally! Also purple? Indigo zone, the most aggressive spectrum will destroy all enemies. Never enter if you value your life. Well, I have one more healing potion. Yeah. Oh, I also have a speed potion that I don't remember picking up. Wait for this healing to kick in. Alright, let's go. I hear loud footsteps of something that will not like me. Shit, it was a dead end. Okay. I think we made it. Well, guys, your security system is interesting and colorful, but, you know, not very effective. So that's all the keys. Let's, let's get out of here. We, uh, didn't find... A sword. Do not kill the chieftain. I don't even know who that chieftain was. Leave by using the portal. Red. Blue. Orange. Yellow. Green. And finally, purple. A lot of keys, a lot of locks. 
just a portal back to our world. Yes. Oh, what? Garrett! Burricks! Ladies Wake and up. gentlemen, it's time to welcome to my church. Uh, we uh, have gathered here. Okay, today. take it. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in my. that church place that you're in. Ah, we are gathered here today to celebrate a marriage. A marriage between these two wonderful beings, Basho and. Genevieve. Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> no. Besso and Genevieve. Oh. May the master Boulder oh. bless these two in untitled, unholy matrimony. May they live happily with one another, and forever and ever, if the builder finds a nice place in his kingdom for everyone and live happily ever after. Well, that was that was one hell of a dream. Uh, got, got got pushed by the door. <laughs> I think that was the uh, rainbow people outside, judging by the uh, sound of it. Which I didn't see properly because I was busy using my scavenger orb in a uh, slightly uh, creepy manner, I suppose. Uh, anyway, that's, that was a winning. Besso is successfully married. Well done. We missed uh, 325 leaks. But we escaped with that skin, although, you know, maybe, maybe we just dreamed it all. Hmm. And, uh,. That's it, so there's one more mission left from the 48 hour contest, and uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.